nullification. The constitutional concept most often forgotten in today's rule of law has been reinvigorated by wins by people like Sheriff Nick Finch in Florida. Now the state of South Carolina is using nullification to oust Obamacare. Constitutional Sheriff Richard Mack, who is a nullification victor in his own right, talks to us tonight to tell us about nullification and how South Carolina can be successful. Thanks for joining us, Sheriff. Well, you're welcome. Thanks for having me. It's uh, always a pleasure. Always is a pleasure. Now, Sheriff, before we talk about the situation that's going on in South Carolina, can you tell us about nullification and your experiences with it? Well, we've done that uh, for many decades now. Sheriffs in uh, Idaho have done it uh, back in 2003. Uh, sheriff in uh, uh, Eureka County, uh, Nevada, did it uh, against uh, the Bureau of Land Management and uh, even sheriffs in California have been doing it. Um, I did it when I was sheriff uh, back in the 90s. Uh, sheriff Rogers uh, has done it in Indiana. Sheriff Palmer has done it in Oregon. Uh, sheriff Arpaio has done it somewhat in Arizona. Um, sheriff uh, David A. Clark Jr. has done it in Milwaukee. Mm -hmm. Sheriff Finch just did a, a huge uh, one in uh, Florida. and He even got arrested for it, but he... Uh, laughed at that and uh, beat him at uh, court. And, and so this is not anything new, and I certainly didn't create it. Uh, I helped push it along, and I'm kind of the messenger here about making it go bigger, better, and faster, and more often. And when I sued the federal government back in the 90s when I was sheriff in Arizona, I guess that established a huge precedent, and it was a landmark victory uh, for state sovereignty and for the Tenth Amendment. And now we finally have other state politicians and leaders, uh, specifically in Idaho, uh, in uh, South Carolina, that are paying attention to this and using it. To what I've done, said on your show several times is that uh, this is the equation and the formula for stopping Obamacare or any other uh, uh, federal mandate that the states uh, want out of. That's exactly right, Sheriff, and you've been talking about this. You're an advocate for state nullification as well as many other people. We see now uh, people like Ben Swan getting behind state nullification and others, but you're yeah. definitely one of the first people or one of the more prominent people, I should say, to bring about this idea. So for the people who can't exactly wrap their heads around this, you have Obamacare, you have state nullification or nullification in general. How do these things two mix? Well, they they mix. Uh, they don't mix, and that's why you can stay away from it. It it is oil and water, and the states have the authority uh, through the Tenth Amendment to nullify and stand against uh, anything that uh, comes out of Washington D.C. that is contrary to state sovereignty. Uh, first and foremost, l let me direct every one of your listeners and the people who pay attention to Infowars all across the country and perhaps the world. You've got to get a copy of my Supreme Court case. Now, at SheriffMack.com, you can pull off the entire case. It's there. Or at CSPOA, that's CSPOA.org, Constitutional Sheriffs and Peace Officers Association.org, CSPOA.org, you can get a highlighted version of the case so you don't have to go through the entire case because I've already done that. And I put it in a little pocket-sized booklet. Now, everyone in this country needs to see this so you can see it for yourself, see the evidence, see the proof that this case does exactly what we are saying it's supposed to do, Jakari, and that is provide the states and counties and cities with the ammunition to do exactly what uh, State Rep. Tom Davis is doing in South Carolina through House Bill 3101, that is going to nullify Obamacare for the state of South Carolina. Every state can do it. Every county can do it. Every city can do it. Just start acting on what is already there. And right now we have a Christmas special on this. It's only 80 cents to get this little booklet. You should get dozens of them. Mm -hmm. Pass them around. I have an email right here from somebody else who is forwarding this information to all of their state legislators on an email blast. Okay, so let's make sure we know and understand what we're talking about here. The United States Supreme Court decision, when a couple of sheriffs sued the federal government and won, yours truly being the one who started that, says that the states retained, quote, an inviolable sovereignty, end quote. It also states this. Now, this is the big one being used by South Carolina. Mm -hmm. It states that the federal government 
may not compel the states to enact or administer a federal regulatory program, end quote. Now, there's a lot of things about in this decision that supports that and substantiates that and completely corroborates what those principles mean. And, I mean, it says so much in here that you've got to see it. There's not time on your show today to, to discuss all these key points. So mm-hmm. people need to get a hold of this, Yakari, and use it for the tool that it was meant to be. And I would also recommend getting the DVD set. We have everything marked off 50 to 70% for Christmas. Get the DVD set that's entitled Erecting the Barriers because that's exactly what the states and counties and cities are supposed to be doing. This landmark decision spells it out, and it even tells you how to do it. That's what you need. right from the U.S. Supreme Court. That's what you need. Somebody from experience, so you're telling them from experience how to go about these steps, so that definitely uh, makes you an authority on that, and I do encourage our viewers to go out and uh, get those pieces for themselves. Now, Sheriff, we have to move quick. I want to get your your view on a couple of other topics. We see a lot of, uh, I guess you would call it police brutality as of late. There's a situation in California, I believe in Sonoma County, where a young man was carrying a plastic AK BB gun. It had an orange tip. It seems like the officer, well, the officer approached the young man and somehow or other shots were fired and the young man ended up dead. Are you familiar with that case? Yes, I'm afraid so. And others similar to it. What are your thoughts on that? Well, uh, I, I don't believe that uh, we're doing the proper amount of training to avoid those types of things. And uh, we used to train about those things, you know, where a, a, a deaf kid, you know, is approaching you and he has his hand in his back pocket and the cop is yelling at him, stop, stop, or I'm going to shoot, I'm going to shoot. And the kid hands him out of his back pocket a card saying that he's deaf and dumb. Mm-hmm. And so we've got to get back to some real fundamental training. We've got to train our officers uh, better than we are doing. And I think this is something that lands right on the lap of our uh, law enforcement leaders in this country, our sheriffs and chiefs of police. We've got to do a better job with that. Exactly. Now, Sheriff, uh, how do you feel about tasers for noncompliance? Uh, tasers, uh, you know, were first introduced to law enforcement officers as uh, non-lethal, uh, but it's turned out that they have been lethal. And the the officer who used it against a 72-year-old lady, and he's twice her size, you know, he needs to get a new job. Mm. And the other officer who tased a um, eight and a half month old, uh, uh, eight and a half, eight and a half month pregnant woman. Wow. He needs to get a new job. Exactly. And law enforcement community needs to better police itself. And we need to quit jumping the gun. Uh, excuse the pun, but we need to quit jumping the gun on shooting situations. And we need to come down on officers who misuse lethal force. And we need to come down on this uh, tasing. Uh, it's, it's far too often. And it's just uh, almost like boys with toys. We need to quit giving so many toys to these guys because when you do, they're going to use them and usually inappropriately. All right. Well, Sheriff, that's all the time we have for today. Sheriff Mac, SheriffMac.com. Thank you for your time, sir. All right. We'll see you later, Jakari. Thanks. Thanks. If nullification sounds like a pretty good idea to you, you can stop by the InfoWars shop and pick up nullification, the rightful remedy. It's available in the InfoWars shop. Pick it up today. And another thing you need to do today is stop by PrisonPlanet.tv. Now, normally it's a 15-day free trial, but for a limited time only, you get five months free. Unlimited access. You can share this with your friends. You get the Alex Jones Show, the nightly news, the special reports, and so much more. And don't forget, when Obama Deception 2 comes out, it will be right there as well. So that's it for this edition of the InfoWars Nightly News. I'm your host, Jakari Jackson, and we'll see you again next week. Now you can watch The Alex Jones Show live as it happens at Infowars.com slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. More than 60 movies and documentaries all in one place at Infowars.com slash show. The facts are in. The studies are legion. Sodium fluoride and other members of the fluorine family that are added to Western water supplies are devastating the health and cognitive ability of the people that drink it. 
So the question is, why are the social engineers adding it to the water? Simple, dumb down the host population that the parasitic technocracy is feeding on. We developed Fluoride Shield to be the highest quality, highest standards because I use it every day and my family uses it every single day. Let's take a closer look at the ingredients that make up this special proprietary formula. Tamarind has been celebrated for its ability to immobilize toxic fluoride residues, while zeolites have a long history of attracting and holding toxic compounds. Enter fulvic acid, an excellent cleansing agent. Then we added the highest quality shilajit, a rare compound that is collected from the high mountains of the Himalayas. We topped it all off with the powerhouse herb cilantro, that is intended to mobilize fluoride and other dangerous compounds for removal from the body. And the final touch to energize this formula is our proprietary nascent iodine. And as always, consult your physician as well because that is important. And finally, Fluoride Shield, Survival Shield, and all the products at InfoWarsLife.com grew out of my quest to try to find the very best compounds from God's cornucopia to protect myself and my family. And from our research, I believe we are bringing you the best, highest quality products. And you have that commitment from Alex Jones and the entire InfoWars crew.